Federal incentive checks are in the mail, but will they have the desired effect of stimulating the economy? Will people actually spend the money on consumer goods, or will the extra cash just go for rising food and fuel costs? Matt, what do you think? I'm guessing it's going to go to fill your gas tank. It's going to leave the country. What are you going to buy? Well, I do. <laughs> what am I going to buy? Um, what am I going to buy? You're going to buy us gifts. I haven't thought I'll have, I have to wait till the check comes. I think that's what a lot of other people will be doing, too. Americans tend to be rather impulsive. A lot of us are living uh, paycheck to paycheck. So when 600 or 1200 or if you have a couple of kids, it could be upwards of $2,000 comes. Um, that's an opportunity for people to make a purchase that maybe uh, they hadn't, hadn't uh, been able to do. So I do suspect that a lot of this will um, provide um, you know, a, a shot into the economy as this money goes out and is, is um, immediately spent. Whether or not it actually helps avert a recession, you know, I, it doesn't hurt. It's helpful, but I'm not sure that it's it's going to be enough. And we see the Speaker of the House already um, talking about the idea of a second stimulus package. You know, ultimately, with food prices going the direction they're going and gas prices going the direction they're going at the rate they're going, this particular amount of stimulus is not going to compensate for that. Uh, you know, even the president has admitted that this, you know, something has to be done about food prices and gas prices, or, you know, you can sit around and have all the economic stimulus packages you want, but people's real earning power is being reduced mm -hmm. when a larger and larger section of their um, percentage of their monthly income has to go f for food and for fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if <coughs> somebody would take their check and build an oil refinery, I think then <laughs> that, that <laughs> might be a solution, but no, I hope they spend it quick, quickly before inflation takes it away. You know, if the government prints the money quickly enough, we can spend it before the money markets of the world realize that we've printed more money and adjust the <laughs> dollar downward. Uh, I, you know, it seems like a, a foolhardy idea. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate having extra cash in their in their wallets, but uh, it's it's bad money after bad money, as far as I'm concerned. It's if we weren't racking up huge debts, you know, I could see a justification for it. You know, I think I'm probably overtaxed, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean the government needs to go out and print more money so that I can feel good for a little while. Which is exactly what they did. Of I course. mean, we just borrowed this money like we've been borrowing all the rest of the money. And historically speaking, the last time they tried one of these things, most of the money didn't go to buying consumer goods and stuff. People did what they do, pay off debt, buy food, uh, deal with their more home mortgage, uh, all those kind of shelter survival type issues always run up, ring up first so the fact that you know if, uh, whoever you know put this together thought people were going to run out and buy brand new televisions uh, or a down payment on a car it, or it is something not going like to happen that. because you've got people have children in school whether it's college or they have all those family expenses uh, and i just don't see it really kick starting the economy whatsoever maybe if they buy american goods you know Bourbon, Budweiser, <laughs> and the Oregon Jack lottery. Daniels. There we go. Oh, there we the, go, yes. The yeah. real winner in this is the state of Oregon. And uh, they did an analysis of what happened with the kicker money. Right. And it turned out about 15% of it uh, was an increase in the video poker. Uh, poker. Right. And oh that worked out goodness. pretty well for the state. Right, right back and to then uh, <laughs> we'll be taxed on that uh, Six to twelve hundred dollars we get oh, nice. by the state of Oregon, Lovely. and the paper said that amounted, I think, to fifty-four million dollars. It, it was a could be a, sure. a sizable amount. It might have been uh, closer to forty, but I mean that's going to be quite a boost when Matt gets down there. He's going to have more money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, more to give back to us taxpayers. Well, you know, if you if you if you listen to the government, people like George Bush or whoever, they will tell you, you know, go buy, uh, yeah, go buy American-made products, keep the money in the country. You listen to the economists and they'll tell you, pay off your debt, your right. credit card debt, because this is a country full of, of debt and the housing crisis and everything else. And, and I think because of the mortgage crisis, this little drop in the bucket is not going to do anything until they help no, the we, housing we have a negative savings rate in this country, so that makes it very difficult to, to, to really have anybody put something away so that they could use it later on down the line. So well, I'm already system. doing my share. I spend about 107% of what I make <laughs> and well, Jan just like makes. like a typical American. <laughs> I was going to say. And, uh, was and so, but I think it's 
it would be nice to be in the position to say, well, now, do I put this directly into savings? Do I increase my retirement account? But we have a leaking uh, washing machine, and so that's a washer. And you can't buy those by themselves. You have to buy the dryer, of course, because they look funny. You can have it repaired and thereby <laughs> employ someone. It to leaks. I mean, that, that takes an outside person to come in. So we need, yes. to save a, <laughs> we need to save a percentage for the tax that we're going to have to pay. Yeah. And then the, I'll go buy a gas card because that's where it's going to go anyway. No wonder you're so agitated today, Al. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it ends up, I, I do the washing or I've got to buy the new washer. What does this have to do with a kicker check? Because that's, that's where, where the, the kicker check is going. It's going to fix his washer. Okay. We're moving on now. <laughs>